Welcome to Intech, my name is Luke and I am going to blitz AZ900 so that you can pass the exam in as little time as possible. Now, the AZ900 it has essentially three main modules, describing the cloud, describing the architecture and describing the management. Now, each of these is then split into units, there's three in that one, four on that one, four on that one. So what we're doing is we've broken it out into this mind map and we're just going to blitz the concepts. Today, we're first looking at describing cloud computing. Let's get into it. So what is cloud computing? Essentially, it's just delivering compute services over the internet. You're watching this on a device right now. That device has a computer in it or it is a computer. Now, when you go and do cloud computing, what that actually means is you are accessing compute resources over the internet, meaning you are essentially using someone else's computer over an internet connection to, to access it, to get it to do stuff. Now, these computers, they're not just normally people's machines sitting in their house like yours. They're in these big massive data centers, which is just a big massive building or warehouse type of thing, which has a bunch of computers in it. And that's essentially it. Next up, shared responsibility model. So these three flavors are software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure as a service, you are getting the infrastructure provided and that's it. So basically they're like, here's my computer, you can use it. With no operating system or anything, you then have to bring your own operating system on it or download one and blah, blah, blah. So you're now responsible for everything other than the computer itself. As in, if the power dies or something, that's Azure's responsibility or Microsoft, but everything else is pretty much yours. The other side of that is you get software as a service, which is where you get the entire software package to use as a service. Now that's everything up until the application, which then just means that all your data and stuff that's on it and who accesses it, that's then your responsibility, but they're giving you the software to then use. In the middle of that is platform as a service, which is kind of like halfway between each. There's a bit of a shared responsibility, which is a uh, branched over more parts here, as you can see. So the applications that are on the platform, that's kind of your responsibility, the networking control, so who can come in and out, etc. And then there's stuff at the top, which is the access, so the accounts and identities of people that can access this stuff, the devices and the information and data on it, they're always your responsibility. So next up, let's look at cloud models. So you get the public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud. Public cloud is basically when you go into Azure and you want to just buy some resources to use, like a virtual machine or something, that's the public cloud. You're just going on, part of the public, boom, public access, you can do it. Private cloud, this is where you're not part of the public, so you can have private agreements on what you can use, what you can't use, this is mine, that's mine, blah, 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 right? Hybrid cloud, a mix of both, so you can have some of your stuff which is like agreed with Azure, this is mine, don't let anyone touch it, blah, blah, blah. And then other stuff, you're like, I don't really care, always about public. Now, say you wanted to use more than just Azure, you could use AWS or GCP, which are cloud platforms from Amazon and Google, respectively. Now, you can have some stuff from each of these. So say like, you know, your team already has an existing data analytics platform within Google. They can also use Azure if you really want to, if you have better costing or services that you want. And then that's called multi-cloud. Now you can use this thing called Azure Arc, which as it says is a bridge that extends the Azure platform to your environments. Now if we go to the Azure Arc website here, so Azure Arc, you can see that it says hybrid and multi-cloud management. So basically that's all you need to know for the fundamentals. There's also VMware solutions. VMware is a virtual machineware. So you have your physical machine, right? Now that physical machine is made up of resources. Virtual machine is virtualizing these resources into like a little bit, which is like its own machine. That's basically how you can think of it. And at VMware is a popular way to use virtual machines or to enable virtual machines within your machine. And a VMware solution is Azure have capabilities to kind of extend that virtualization such that it's part of Azure. Basically meaning you can either quickly move it, so the virtual components that you're using, you can move them from your computer up into Azure, or you can use that and extend it up into Azure, because it's all virtualized anyway. So that's cloud models. Next up is we have to understand the consumption-based model. So the main thing you need to know for this really is CapEx versus OpEx. 
CAPEX as capital expenditure, OPEX as operating expenditure. You can think of capital expenditure, CAPEX, as investments. You go and you buy a computer, that's CAPEX. You go and, I don't know, buy a, a, a new roof for your house, that's CAPEX. But say you want a window cleaner to come, and you want to come every quarter, every month, that's OPEX, that's operational expenditure. In the same way with the cloud, the reason this consumption-based model is called that is because it's generally pay-as-you-go in the cloud, right? Not, I say generally because you can choose to not do this if you want to, you know, do some private cloud stuff and have this specific set of resources for you. But in any case, consumption-based is you only pay for what you use, which means that you do this operational expenditure. You don't pay an entire year's worth of salary to the Windows cleaner, window cleaner, Windows cleaner. You pay every time it comes, right? Which is whenever you want it to be there. And so basically to leave on this or to end on this, cloud computing is a way to rent compute power and storage from someone else's data center, which is just a computer. So anyway, I hope that briefly displaying, explains what is cloud computing. Come back next time for the benefits of cloud computing.